So after doing some inspiration and finding and looking at some cool examples, I jumped on to my paper, just had a normal Kansan paper and just a normal pencil and did some sketches. Started throwing out some of the words. I came up with Humble Brew Co. I did some coffee icons as well. Maybe I could use that later on. Um, it's always good to just play around and experiment and then see what type of letters you can do. Because it was a vintage type of style, I tried to you know mix it up. Um, add some flourishes, add some, you know, cool spikes and embellishments on the type. So that's what my goal was. And took my time, did different layouts, did different logo lockups of how the typography was going to be laid out. And the best thing to do is, you know, use your ruler as well to draw out some lines. It can be slanted, curved, warped, anything you want. As you can see, I kept going and just played around with different styles. And you can see I'm using shapes and lines to, you know, set a guide for where my type was going to be. But my main type was humble, which I used, and you can see throughout the rest of the video of just some examples that I did throughout that you know drawing session, and you can see me just draw out cool stuff. And yeah, so this is what you do: do sketches, and it'll really help out your logo designs and type look better. The more time you spend on this, it'll look a lot more better. So after I did these sketches, you can see later on that I blew it up, so I made it a bit bigger. I chose one style, and then I made it bigger, and then from that. I scanned it in and brought it into Illustrator and that's when we start building our type which is in the next video. So yeah, hope you enjoy this, you know, some of these sketches and you can learn from it. And go ahead and do your own sketches now. Try and do like 10 different versions and figure out what you, you know, want to do or you can just follow along and, you know, learn of what I'm doing. So.